Wow. Double books. We got a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Greetings once again, my friends. Welcome to Stardew Valley. Here we are, the 21st day of spring, where the Queen of Sauce is teaching us all about radish salad. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. You learn how to make radish salad. Fortune teller today is annoyed. Bummer. And the weather for tomorrow is beautiful and sunny. Let's get to it. Here we go. Some beautiful and lovely... Were those some bonus harvest strawberries I saw? Oh boy, I sure hope so. We've got a bunch of cauliflower growing at the top here. Cauliflower kind of all over the place. We got enough farming to level up just now. Oh yeah. It's a good day. It's a good day. And we need some of this. Let's put that out. Thank you chickens for your contributions to the farm and my overall energy levels. I appreciate your hard work. Let's slap this in here and slap that in there. See where we're at. How we doing? 194. Yeah, I think we're okay. Alright, so we can stack a potato. Um, obviously we're gonna sell most of those. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep, I think, like 25. Yeah, me, maybe even 30 for next year. So that we can make... We'll do it from the next harvest, probably. We'll keep them. But that way we can we can make seeds, and then we don't have to buy them. We can get them growing right away as soon as the season starts. These things are worth crazy energy, and we're going to use those in the summer. Uh, like when we're planting crops that first day, I think that's important. And we still have time. We can plant a couple of potatoes. Or just, nope, nope, there's two. I was going to say, I thought there was one more then. There we go. And I think that's it as far as where they can go. Okay. Well, it's about all we can do with that. We need to go check the traveling cart, see if anything exciting's down there. And then, uh, we're going fishing. And I need some more bait. This ought to be plenty of bait for a while. Okay. So I don't need those. Put this over here. Put that over there. And uh, we're out of here. Bring our, our hoe with us. Grab a seed or two as we meander on out of here. And our goal, after we fish tomorrow, will be, I think, to clear out some more trees. Plant the trees that we want to see. I think that'll be important. Hazelnut. An anchovy. Crocus. Hash browns. Shad, potato, bream, rhubarb, pie. Okay, so you've got some good stuff, but... And, you know, and we, again, there's stuff we could buy. It just, like, we'll find it, you know, when we get there, you know? Like, we'll find hazelnuts. We'll find a crocus. I'm not too concerned about that. We already have a potato. We've caught a bream. We've caught a shad. We've caught an anchovy. Yeah, the, the rare seed is tempting, but not today. Do we need money today? You know, I don't think we do, actually. Let's... I was going to take all the strawberries and sell them to Pierre, but... You know, we could give strawberries to Maru. 
and Demetrius. And if we give them gold strawberries, then their hearts will go up even faster. It's worth considering. However, I I just need money. <laughs> That's the reality. Uh, I think we have enough items for getting money and getting money, getting more energy on us. Here we go. So we'll go fishing today. We'll enjoy ourselves. We'll hang out. We'll have a good time. We'll chat. We'll come up and, uh, you know, talk about whatever thing my brain decides it wants to discuss while we're down here. And uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, we could talk about that. Yeah, that's a good one. So on the stream last night, when we were playing some Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden, which is an interesting game, uh, I mentioned the fact that I read an article on Starfield, and um, the main story apparently... Oh, we're not going to catch that one. The main story apparently had some problems, and there's some sort of twist towards the end of it, which only got put in because they weren't sure how else to end the story. And I got thinking about that, and I was like, you know, that's for... That's for a Bethesda game. That's for a game that is, in fact, focused on a story. It is a story game. And I don't understand how it is that one could not have the story done very early in the process of trying to make a story game. Like, how would you know like, what areas you needed to create or go to or visit or the pacing of how things should work or I mean any of the rest of the stuff that needs to happen in the game how would you know how to go about any of the rest of it if the story wasn't done and then I got thinking about that and I was like you know that's probably why though the main stories in games aren't always that good and it's the side stories that usually are very entertaining oops because somebody doing a side story, it's sort of like their their pet project, their, uh, the thing that they enjoy, you know? Um, and so they, you know, they're focused really hard on, on making sure it hits certain themes or whatever and that the pacing is right and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I think the more focused that people can be, in, in the creation of those things, the easier that gets. And so that kind of led us to a discussion that one of the difficulties facing bigger games nowadays is just scope, like overall scope. So you have a very broad game that's not a very deep game. And that's the danger. And I, I think that has been a trend in gaming and big titles for quite a while. I think that's a difficulty that bigger studios have been facing. Because, uh, obviously, the higher-ups want the, the bigger sweeping tails to catch interest so that sales are good. As opposed to maybe like a very focused tail that's not as long or they can't include as many live service elements or monetization or whatever in and it's like but really at, you know gaming typically is it focuses on like one of a couple things either you're, you're telling a story um you know or the focus is like exploration or combat for the most part like it's it's one of those things and the, i mean obviously those things are in most games but each game kind of has a focus. You know, like you look at those old, like, point-and-click games, right? Well, the gameplay certainly is not the focus of those games. It's, it's the story and the desire to solve the problems and the mysteries of the game that, that keeps you playing, right? Um, a game like Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, Helldivers 2, what, what keeps you playing is 
sort of the moment to moment gameplay the a, uh, the emergent gameplay of each round or each drop or each time you play a match or whatever you know that's sort of what keeps it fresh right it keeps you wanting to play um and that's why like those games you know where you're playing with your friends and whatever and, you know, as long as you can create those cool moments in games consistently, then your game will be good. Uh, then you've got games here like Stardew, where there's a lot of focus on the atmosphere of the game and the mechanics of the game. You know, I mean, yeah, the NPCs have stories. Yeah, you can build relationships with them, but that's not like... The, the focus of the game, right? It's it's your own personal journey through the game, through the community events, through the development of your character skills, how you design your farm, what you grow, what you don't grow, the animals you have or don't have, etc., etc. And that's, you know, you can do that in so many different ways. It's a very open game, and that's sort of the allure. So, like, it's just interesting to me when I look at big games, you know, and it's like some games come really close to being very, very good and falling a little short. Like, I really enjoyed Assassin's Creed Odyssey for the first, like, two-thirds of the game. And then I hit about level, I think it was level 40. And a lot of the final parts of the game are level 50 or higher. So you had to either go and grind out a bunch of stuff um, just to do it so you could finish the story. Which at that point you've invested a lot of time into. Or you could go on the store and you could buy a bunch of like experience boosters and stuff. And then just pay an extra $5 to finish the game. And it's like... Why is this even in the game? Like, you should have... The balancing at the end, the pacing at the end of the game was very poor. And it just sort of soured the whole rest of the experience. It was a real shame. Because that game really was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed it up until that moment. You know, and that moment just sort of like... I don't want to say it ruined the rest of the game, but... It, it just, you know, because it's at the end of the game. It's the thing you remember, right? It, it just left a negative impression instead of, like, the at that point, the, the really good positive impression that had been left. And so, I don't know. It just, it's it's a difficult thing to, to do and balance. And I do not, I do not begrudge any developers for what they have to decide to do. You know, you got to pay the bills and keep the lights on and all that. I get it, but... I just feel like more focused experiences are overall where I find the most enjoyment in gaming and I think that's true for a lot of people. I don't I don't know that I want you know the every game to be a 100 hour game or an 80 hour game or a play this game forever sort of no like there are times that you you really just want like that 20 or 30 hour really focused story experience to enjoy be entertained by and then move on from and uh I thought it was just kind of my thoughts on that so what do you think what do you think friends comment section what do you think about that one am I am I like am I on my own little island here or do more of us feel that way than I think I, I don't know so I thought I would ask I feel like that's a good topic of conversation aha we will give that to Sam now his favorite item is the cactus fruit, and I, I'm, I'm sure there's something else that he loves, but he doesn't hate Joja Cola. At least it's something. This <laughs> fish just didn't move. I kept expecting it to go upwards like it's doing now, and it just—it was just like, how about I don't move? Thanks, Chub. I appreciate you. We're already at five catfish, by the way. Six chubs, five catfish. We have six shad total, and we have three iridium chubs. Oh, we have nine chubs total, I guess, if you count. If we're counting totals, it's quite a few. 
It is currently about 11-ish. My stomach is saying it wants lunch, and my brain is reminding it that that probably is not going to happen until closer to 2 o'clock. Because I still have all of the Mixed Seed series to record as well. <laughs> Which is another three episodes worth of videos. Yeah, if you haven't watched the Mixed Seed run, by the way, it's a lot of fun. Um... I came up with this ridiculous challenge, essentially just to try to finish the community center by not ever buying things from Pierre. And uh, it's been it's been really enjoyable. And the only thing that has held us up is apples. We've been stuck waiting on apples for about a year in game, which is kind of crazy. I don't know about this fish. I don't know if we're going to catch it. We've already missed a couple today. I've been trying not to let it get to me, but... Alright, let's let's try and focus for a second. Let's see if we can't catch this one. There we go. Sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta stop talking and catch the fish. I forget that lesson on occasion, and uh, I just keep fishing, and then I don't catch the fish. And then I get a little irritated because I don't, but it's kind of my own fault for talking the whole time. But it's just, it feels uncomfortable to me to have long periods of silence in a video. Or a live stream, for that matter. You know, if we're playing a story game, I don't have a choice. You know, if there's a bunch of voiceover, dialogue... You don't want to, like, interrupt the flow, you know what I mean? But in a game like this where there's no voiceovers, I feel like it's sort of incumbent on me to, uh, you know, talk. I mean, I have seen playthroughs of Stardew Valley where it's just somebody playing and there's no, there's no commentary. And I think to myself, I don't know if I could f make myself record that way, actually. I have been tempted to do like a long, like a long form, uh, no commentary let's play of this game. I just haven't done it yet because I'm not sure if people would enjoy it or not. At least not my current audience. I mean, I know there is an audience for that. I just don't think it's my current audience. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know, you think of these things as a, as someone who makes videos, right? You you look at all the different all the different types of videos that are out there, right? You you do your research in a in a field of videos. In this case, Stardew Valley and and other relaxing games like it. And um, what I noticed when I started making these videos years ago now was that while there were a lot of Stardew Valley pull it, like Let's Plays out there, there's only a few that show, like, everything. Like, HodgePodge tends to show everything. Um, I think Evac, uh, who I really enjoyed Avac's playthrough, um, tended to show most everything and, like, have little conversations with the NPCs, which I also try and do. Um, I sort of modeled a lot of what I do after what those two do. They're, they were very positive influences. You know, and then you've got people who just have an amazing communities, and they have great videos. And, um, like, good for them. Like, uh, like Easy Lily, for example, uh, does some just really good stuff. Well, nothing but respect. Um, but it's, it's very edited. And I'm like, hmm, do I want to do that? Or... Do I want to do, like, a longer form? And I was like, you know, I think in the longer form space, as someone who doesn't really know how to edit things very well or or edit content down into, like, a story that still makes sense. Do you, you know what I'm saying? In the context of the game, I don't have a lot of experience with that. 
I'm gonna try it with Minecraft. I'm most of the way through recording 100 days of Minecraft, but... I haven't started editing that yet, and I... I need to finish that up, but 1.6 is out. It'll be a little bit, and then I'll finish recording, and then... Then we'll try to edit that video together. Um, that'll sort of be my first foray into that sort of world. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I just don't think that that's really where my abilities lie. I think my abilities lie much more in just being my normal goofy self and uh, playing a couple days at a time of a game. Or depending on the game, a couple of missions, you know, a couple of battles in Battle Brothers or XCOM or whatever and just laughing at what happens in the game and enjoying it. I think that's more where my my natural inclinations lie. And for some games, there's definitely room for that, um, you know, in the videos. So the only thing that gets me really, like, salty in games, if any of you have stopped by to see the bad language-oriented uh, Helldiver streams, is uh, I don't like dying. I don't like dying in, in games. Um, especially not PvE games. Because most of the time, I feel like it should be preventable. You know? And I get frustrated when it's not that. I think I actually get more annoyed in PvE games when I die than I do in a PvP game. Because, like, you know, when you're playing, like, Battlefield, like, you sort of expect... You sort of expect that, you know, that someone's going to be better than you. Someone's going to end up on, on your flank unexpectedly or something. Uh, you know, it's going to it's gonna happen. But, you know, in a game where you're just fighting against AI, I feel like dying is more of a frustration. That's, you know, I don't know if that's just me, but it's kind of how I look at it. We are at 10 catfish. I just want to point that out because that's going to be worth a pretty good amount of money. Are we at... We are at level 7 fishing. But not yet level 8. What do I need to make a worm bin? Gold bars? Plural? Or just one? Oh boy. No, I would like... I would like you. If we hadn't missed those other two catfish, we'd be at like 12 already. That'd be crazy. Did you get in the green bar there, friend? My goodness. Gotta tap it. Okay, you're going up now. And now you're going back down. Come on, man. There we go. Boy, these catfish. You really just gotta stare him down on the bar there and take it to him. You just gotta do it. 1040, huh? We got a little bit of time yet. I'm hoping to get at least one more catfish. Come on, one more catfish. Let's do this. That is algae. That is not at all a catfish. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're both on the bottom, right? Usually. Algae sometimes is on the top of the water too. Sort of like a pond of scum. And then in my head I just heard something like pond of scum. What is that from? That is from a movie. Oh man. That is gonna bug me until my brain supplies where that was from. And I got nothing right now. Black, maybe? Is, does, does 
the alien in the Edgar suit say pond scum at some point? Maybe? Because my brain is picturing that that character. Also, speaking of, of acting, like, boy, what a, what a fun job that guy did. <laughs> to play the character, you know, as if there's an alien inside of you or whatever. Like, he's just, like, jerking around and stuff. Like, hilarious. All right. He did a good job. Catfish, Shad, Chab. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff there. Sure, we'll toss that in. Uh, here it is. I don't know how much that's worth, actually. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see. Right. Okay. Put that there. Put that as well. We gotta get that to Sam. And, I suppose... I could probably sell these. That makes sense. Okay, time for bed. Yes, go to sleep. Well, we got a ton done. We leveled up farming. We got the cheese press. There's the quality sprinkler. Excellent. And we leveled up fishing. We now have the deluxe worm bin. Well, well, let's look and see what it takes to make some of this stuff. And we made a lot of money. Look at that. Over 8,000. Pretty great. Keep in mind, we are on half income. So that would have been 8,000 from fishing and 8,000 from strawberries otherwise. Which would be 16,000. That's, that's a, a lot for spring. But over 8K. Look at that. Booksellers in town, the watering can is ready. Oh my goodness. Living off the land, fish and pole, sell your fish. It's a great way to make extra cash. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good humor today. And tomorrow is lots of pollen. Okay, well, it is the 22nd. We could... We could purchase and plant some parsnips if we really decided that that was important. <sighs> I'm not... I'm not sure. Put the fishing rod away. Get out the axe and the pickaxe. Okay. Come on over, say hello to the chickens. Yeah, I was tempted to just buy a couple more chickens, but... <gasps> Ooh, how much is it to upgrade the coop? Do we have enough? Uh, let's just look real fast on the wiki here. Let me bring that up. Chicken coop stardew on the wiki. It is 10,000, which we have. Four... 100 wood and 150 stone. Um, okay. Or we could get a barn. Ooh, maybe the barn's the way to go. Get some cows. 6,000. And I want to upgrade... I would like to upgrade my... Uh... Pickaxe, I think. So let's just real fast, we'll run around the farm. Clean up a couple of things over here real fast. And, uh... Then we'll upgrade the pickaxe, I believe. Yes, because we are getting close to the iron. Oops. And, uh. That would enable us to make it through that area a little faster. And then, what do we do with ourselves while we're waiting for that to be done? Well, there's always more fishing. I'm sure there's other things we can occupy ourselves with, like. 
could chop down some trees and get that taken care of. Oh, hello. That's got to be where Grandpa's stuff is. Okay, well, we can't get over there. Until we can break that. Until we can break the, uh, the stump, right? Alright, well, we can't get around behind there. Good to know. Let's go make the last bar. For now. How much do we have? We could make another furnace. That would be nice. Do we close that off a little bit? Yeah, I think that's fine. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, dear. My headset is beeping at me again. This needs to go to the community center. Stack that back in there. Stack those in there. Search for more seeds. Alright, pine trees, you need to go away. We have plenty of you in other parts of the farm. This is not where I want you. We're going to have to just remove you completely. Away with you. Very good. Get rid of this one as well. And our copper bar is done. Well, that's another good chunk of glorious wood. How much does that put us at? 300? 350 for the barn? Well, we have to be able to afford the cows, though, so let's let's remember that also. Okay, so we bring all this with us. Do I have more geodes? I have one. That's not very exciting. I thought I had more. Did I not? I know I broke some, but I thought I got more than one. Well, I guess not. Okay. No big deal. Uh, let's bring that for Pam if we run into her. We'll bring this for George. Bring that for Evelyn. Yes, yes, yes. Battery, I hear you. Okay. Okay, battery. Let's let's do this. Let's swap you out right now. So that I don't have to listen to you go... And then play like half this episode with no sound. That would be a real shame. Beep, beep. There we go. And we have to say hello to the cat. Hello, cat. Okay. We will bring you water, kitty, I promise. I'll be back. Alright, we need to go see George and Evelyn, and we need to find Pam. And we also need to check and see if there's any sort of help wanted that we could perhaps fulfill. What do we got? Slay eight green slimes. Well, hopefully we can do that. We're just going to have to go to one floor at a time because we're not going to have a pickaxe. So. That's going to get interesting. Hey, Pam, are you home? Perfect. That's really something. Thanks a million. No problem. I live to help. Eight slimes. Hmm, tricky. That's gonna be tricky. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's a big sigh from the puppy. Watering can achieved. I would like to upgrade the pickaxe, please. So we can get going on getting some iron. Really appreciate that. 
copper watering can. Heck yeah. It's going to make my life so much easier. Let's eat this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Let's go check down here for forage. I would also really enjoy using the uh, wood to open up the other side of the beach. Not a huge fan of that? Okay, well, good to know. Would you prefer to clam shell? Because that was your other option. All right, carrot seeds. You know, we can grow those. We have three days. Well, we have six days. Technically, I could grow some more potatoes, I think. But I'm thinking maybe we don't do that right now. Keep walking, Evelyn. I don't want to see... Have you seen me check all the garbage cans? <laughs> the bookseller. Uh, it's so tempting to go and look just to see what's there, but then I might want to actually buy something, and we really don't have the money for that. So I'm going to try to skip it. I need to cut down more trees. We need to be in a place to be able to get batteries as soon as possible. Now then, quality sprinkler. What do we need for you? Yeah, look at that. Gold and iron. Uh, it's so far away still. Okay, what about what about over here? What do we have? One gold and oh, and an iron and hardwood. All right, well, that's a ways away yet too. Here we are, only on copper. Maybe by the end of summer, we might be able to get some of that going. It's possible. Not likely. Uh, ladies, would anybody like one of these? Oh, there you go. So you like it. Good to know. Good to know. No little grass things here that we can get more carrot seeds from. So they're not super common, but they seem to be common enough. Five more of you. Two of you. One of you. Selling these. Oh, we can get so much more water now. Excellent. Same amount of water used from the watering can, but three times as much actually watered. Ugh, so good. Quick stack. Look at how much more we got watered there. With one watering can's worth of water. And that's why I'm like, the well, I just, I feel like it should be cheaper. Because by the time you can get the well, like you might as well just upgrade your watering can and then, I don't know, it kind of like defeats the purpose almost. I don't think the well cost is very balanced is what I'm saying. Watering the crops up and down all over. Watering the crops. Oops, messed that one up a little bit. That's okay. Ooh, 
I'm running low on energy. Whew. Well, we're gonna need... We're gonna need that. And maybe this. Okay. Go. Go on up here. Water there. Sell that. That was uh, that was the dog leaving. <laughs> I believe something just got dropped off upstairs, and he heard the thunk. Cause I heard the thunk, so I'm pretty sure he also heard it. Wow, double books. We got a lost book. The library's collection has expanded, and we got whatever this is. You learned a new power. And what power would that be, game? Gain one defense. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. I love it. Okay. So we got a bonus defense. Well, well. Okay, then. How many do we have to do? S eight? Ooh. Eight with no pickaxe, huh? Hmm. Who do we... Do we talk to anybody about that? No, we just get it done and then it, it just pops up that it's done. Huh? Ooh, double leak. I see double leak. I pick up double leaks. Robin, sorry for being in your way, but I feel like maybe you were in my way. And you were in my way. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe floor five. Is that a good floor? There's a slime that we can't get to. Ugh. I mean, there were slimes. We just couldn't get to them. Slime to... No? Okay. Well, this is going to take some up and down, in and outs, isn't it? What about 15? That's a that's a nope arena there as well. Okay, what about twenty five? Hello. There's a bug guy. We got some fibers. Okie dokie. Well, that's not the most exciting thing that's ever happened. All right, back out we go, and back in we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. One out of eight. Oh, yeah, there's lots of them over here. Excellent. Three. Four. Oh, here's number five. Oh, number six. Never mind, I lied. I misadded. I missed one. Number six. We got two more over here? Oh, oh, I wish I could break these coppers, that's for sure. Seven. Why did it act like it was done? Uh, that's an odd thing. There we go. Okay, well, talk to Lewis. All right, leave the mine. Lewis, can I get into your house late at night or not? My guess is that it closes and locks at 10, but, you know, we can go check. It's not like it's that far out of the way, really. We'll just run on down here and see what we can find. Also, speaking of things that we can find... Uh, do we see any more of those carrot seeds anywhere? They only take three days to grow, so they're pretty optimal right now here at the end of the season. Nope, 10 o'clock. Okay. Thought it was 10. You're not by some chance still in the saloon, are you? No, but Shane and Pam are. And Clint. Well, I guess we'll have to run into Lewis the next episode, but 480 is pretty good. Uh, that's, that's a pretty great amount of G to get for just something super simple. And I, I 
think, too, we can drop off 200 fiber at the community center as well, now that we have 300. And we can toss those in there, and we'll go refill the watering can. We got a new book. We got the watering can upgrade. The pickaxe is being upgraded. We're currently sitting at 8,000 G. Uh, going into summer, which will be awesome. We can certainly utilize a lot of that into crops. And there we go. Hello, kitty cat tiger. Good night. And I will see all of you in the next episode. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me, your host, Dale Helm. Again, if you do like the content, don't forget like, subscribe. I don't mention that very often. And if you really like it, you want to leave a little tip, join as a member. You get access to all the videos early as soon as they come out. As soon as they're uploaded, uh, you'll get access to those. Okay, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.